Hi, my name is Stamps Liberta. Welcome to another great tutorial for Motion VFX's M Puppet plugin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to breathe some life into regular photos and animate them in a cool, slow mo like way. Let's see how we can do it and what we need to keep in mind while doing it. Let's go to Final Cut's Generators browser and drag the M Puppet generator into our timeline. To pick the image we're going to animate, we need to click on M Puppet's drop zone parameter then find and click on it in the event browser and confirm the selection by hitting apply clip. When I hover my mouse over it, you can see the entire image is being highlighted. This means that M Puppet is going to treat it as a whole. Let's add some handles to it and see what happens. When we move the handles around, the entire photo gets warped and that's not really what we're after. Let's delete that. If we want to successfully animate a part of a photo, we need to prepare it in two separate layers. One with the background, and the other with the character with an alpha channel. I could do that using Final Cut's masking tools, but I went ahead and I did that in Photoshop. As you can see, I also had to fill the space where he was before. This way we can animate the character and leave the background untouched. Let's drop the background layer into our timeline. Make sure it fills the entire screen, then put the M Puppet generator above it and match its duration with the background image. Now we need to place our separated skater image into its drop zone. So we do it the same way as before, by clicking on the drop zone parameter, picking it in the event browser, and applying. First, let's adjust the scale to fit him into our frame better. To control our puppet, we need to have a couple of handles. So let's do that really quickly. As usual, the best way to animate characters is to place handles at their joints. Now that we can control our guy, let's create our initial pose. I'm going to move it just a bit from the original. This looks okay. We're going to animate him throughout the entire duration, so let's move our playhead to the beginning of our timeline and add keyframes to all of our handles. Now, let's move to the end of our generator and give him a different pose. Since we already had keyframes set for our handles, moving them now through the on-screen controls automatically creates new ones. When we scrub through the animation, we can see that our skater moves nicely. At this point we can wrap things up, but let's take it a step further. When separating my character from the background, I also separated his skateboard. As you can see, when I hover the mouse on it, M Puppet shows me I can create another mesh for it, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm pretty much repeating the same steps as before. Add a couple of handles, then go to the beginning of our timeline, add keyframes to all of them, then move to the end of our animation and move the entire skateboard a bit, this time using the selection tool. That's all there is to it. When we play our animation from the beginning, we can see our slow-mo effect in action. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, making slow-mo animations from photos using M Puppet is really easy. Try making your own. For more information on M Puppet and other great stuff for Final Cut Pro and Motion 5, visit motionvfx.com. Again, my name is Stanislaw Liberta. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.